Hey guys, he's Boy24 here, and today I got you a MacBook Air review. So let's get on with the review. So where do I get my Mac? Well, I got it from the Apple web sites. If you go on store, and then if you scroll up down at the bottom, you get refurbished iPads, Macs, iPods. So I recommend you go and check that out. I got a link in the description for that. Um, do I prefer a PC or a Mac? I'll go with the Mac. Mac much quicker, much neater, lighter, and I love the Linux, which is the operating system, Mac OS X line operating system. That is pretty nice. I prefer the Mac operating system than Windows, but Windows 8 is pretty nice. Okay, so let's go on with the review. So here we have the Apple logo, which is pretty cool. Oh, if we just lift it up, switch it on, it lightens up. If you close it, it'll switch it off, it goes off. As you see there, it's pretty neat. Come to the charger. Charger is a magnetic slot here and it magnetically hooks on. Um, is it light or heavy? It's very light indeed. Weak hand, which is my left, uh, very, very light. I can carry it with one hand, no problem. And I am a very weak person. Uh, I'm not hench at all, so. We've got these black stands, four black stands, and we have some information about the product. Well, it's a designer made, obviously China. Uh, let's go back, not much at the bottom. But those stands stop it from scratching and makes it stand up nice. Okay, so let's look what we have here. This is the little slot which you use your fingers to open the monitor. So I can use it with one finger and it goes on. See, it's very, very light indeed. If we check, just to check, I'm going to open up with one finger. And as you can see, the laptop does not lift at all. See, I'm not cheating at all. One finger, and I'm not lifting. The computer is not going up like that. But however, the MacBook Pro does, because the MacBook Pro is quite heavy. So let's check out what we have over here. We have a power charge slot here with a USB thing here. I also think a HDMI slot fits in. Let me check, get this HDMI out, put it in, nope, so it's only for USBs, so if you want to, I don't know, put it onto your, hang on, I'll do that in a minute, but if you want to connect your laptop to the TV, you can't do that, which is unfortunate, um, but you, what you can do is, connect it to the Thunderbolt, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, here we have the audio jack, I think that's called. Well, basically you put your microphone in. I have a pair of iPhone 4. It doesn't matter which one you have. You always get it with an Apple product. It fits in very nicely indeed. Um, but I'm not sure if it fits in with, you know, Beats by Dre or those kind of headphones. You have to go ahead and maybe ask someone or just research online. But yeah, we have a microphone slot right here. We have a touchpad right here with a keyboard which lights up. Let me just do that right now. Is any charging? Okay, hang on. Also, you get to see the charger, which is pretty, pretty cool. Oh, there, lighten up. Bit of a delay there. Okay, see, there is the charger which comes with it. Goes green when it needs charging, goes orange when it doesn't. Okay, so yeah, pretty nice, lightens up, white keyboard, um, white light, that lightens up, black keyboards. Um, touchpads, got different kind of movements with the touchpad, We've got like this. These kind of movements like that. It's pretty nice, pretty decent overall. This touchpad, very useful indeed. But you can get a one of those magic mouse, which is the Apple mouse thing. You've probably seen them in the store for IMAX. Yeah, you can use that, or you could just buy a normal PC one. You probably can actually through Bluetooth. So yeah, that is the keyboard and the touchpad. There is the monitor. It's HD graphics. So yeah, HD monitor with a FaceTime built-in camera, but it's not HD. I've got 
more information about these things in a moment. Okay, moving on to the other side. We, I think this is a floppy disk kind of storage, one of those little pieces of uh, squares. It's, it, they, in the olden days, I think, they used to use it, but now we use USBs, but it's those, I don't know what they're called, I forgot now. I think it's floppy disk, I'm not sure, but it's just a little square which you can fit in, I think. Not very sure for that one. But anyway, let's move on. There is another USB, and here is the Thunderbolt connector. So a uh, Thunderbolt is basically like a TV like this, but Apple, and it's much bigger. And more way expensive, way more expensive, like I was going to say. As you can see, it's pretty pretty thin. That is my finger. Um, now let's get... I think we all have a pair of Apple mic on the microphone um, headphones. So that is how thin it is, the end bit. As thin as that. Then, okay, as just comparing it, gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So yeah, pretty nice slant down here, going down here. And that is the ports. We don't have a CD slash DVD drive, but we probably could get one and just plug it into the USB. There is one for like Samsung one for 20 quid, which I saw on the internet. It's a CD slash DVD a portable one drive. But I think we can get one if you get a one of those proper proper Apple computers, the proper um, box. There is a CD slash DVD drive, but that is like three thousand grand. So yeah, that is very expensive. Just buy a portable um, or a separate DVD slash CD drive, and that is basically it for the input and output devices. You can pull it in a Blue Yeti microphone in it. USB thingy, USB um thick, USB flash storage. You could put anything you want for your USB, but it has to be USB. No HDMI, remember? No HDMI or AVI if you're planning to connect to a TV or do something else. So this is the software. So let me just sign in real quick. Okay. So we got the menu bar right here. And here is a wallpaper which comes with it. It is the Andromeda Galaxy. And then here we have the dock which does that magnification which is very nice. You don't have to do it. It's just asserting that you if you want to do it. So yeah, that is pretty nice. I love the dock. And it looks much neater than a Windows. So you can drag files around. It doesn't get messy at all. So yeah, that's very nice. We have the here we have the we we'll use the mouse actually here we have the connector uh, volume Let's see there change the volume got the charger or not charger but the you know charging icon battery life even and that is the dates and time and then we got some other things that's for um, other applications like this one's for Skype. Dropbox, uh, ScreenFlow, Bluetooth, here's the Bluetooth one, let's see there, connector, Bluetooth mouse if you want, and this is the Spotlight Search, which you can search for a program, see text that it comes, which is a already installed program. Okay, so this is, how do I do that? Well, using this movement on the touchpad, that's how that happens. Um, if I do that, this is what happens, um, and then this is the, the scroll one to go on the internet. I think we all know that what that one, the two fingers that go up and down. That sounded wrong. That's what she said. <laughs> um, here is the launch pad, which we have applications. Um, those are most of the applications from there, and here are some more. All of that is, I think and a bit more there and then the rest was installed by me or by myself we have here the utilities which is also more programs installed so yeah 
If you do have a Windows computer, you can use the remote desktop computer and you can use the Windows from here, which is pretty nice. You can download Windows but if you want, but I really suggest just get your own separate Windows computer because Mac is a Mac, there's no need for installing Windows. Okay, and you would save much more money indeed. Unless you're super rich, then go ahead and do it if you want, then you get two. So yeah, you can actually add more desktops by clicking the add button, but I do, don't want to. Um, you got another motion, just the swipe. And that's what it does. We go to the, the utilities, we can add more stuff down here. Got the calendar, translator, calculator, ETC, clock. Okay, so let's switch this off. And see how fast it takes, or how long it takes to come back on. What is your estimates, guys? I think, well, I already know, so I'm going to say. It is very, very quick indeed. Okay, it's off. Here is the power button, by the way, and we have more buttons at the top, which actually do the, some of the touchpad stuff. We have the volume button, play button, and so on. Let's switch it on. Yeah, very nice sound there. And we get to this screen, Apple sign. And then it starts to load. Huh, very, that was in time. That was great timing. Okay, so roughly about 10 seconds when we get to the sign in or choosing the user. We have a main guest, like another guest. So if you're new to it, well, if it's not your laptop and you want to just quick browse on the internet you can do without using a user but the administrator user can just change what that user can do. I'll show you in a minute. Once this loads real quick. Taking fairly a long time. This is strange. Okay. There's obviously some kind of problem which I'll have to fix. But it takes about 13 seconds, and then we have an Intel HD graphics core alongside a Intel Core i5. There's something going wrong. Okay, switch it off. I probably just marked it up. Well, that doesn't normally happen, but it's really easy to fix. So, the sound's pretty nice. I hope it works. Otherwise, it's going to take hours to fix. Well, not hours, like half an hour. So here is the uh, keyboard again. We have some more buttons at the top. Play and pause, skip. Brightness, touch, um, the uh, menu stuff, and the launch pad, and the other one that shows you all the windows. So yeah, I'm going to end it here, guys. That is the MacBook Air review. So make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and what do you think about the Mac? Would you buy a Mac or not? Maybe tell me that in the comment section below.